crisp, flaky layers of sweet puff pastry with a hint of orange zest. These playful cookies are called elephant ears for their double roll shape, and they make an excellent addition to every holiday cookie platter. If you've got store-bought puff pastry, an orange, granulated sugar, and melted butter, you've got everything you need to make these orange-scented mini elephant ears. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Begin by zesting a medium orange. Measure out a tablespoon of the zest and add it to one third cup of sugar. And then using a small spoon or a fork, mix the two together until they're well combined. Put a large piece of plastic wrap on your cutting board and dust it with sugar. We're using sugar as you might usually use flour when rolling out a pastry dough. Now unfold your thawed pastry dough and dust the top again with sugar, making sure you get all over the dough. Again, this will prevent sticking. And using a rolling pin, roll the dough to a 10 by 15 inch rectangle, stopping occasionally to redust with granulated sugar. You want to get the bottom side as well, so you might want to Place another large piece of plastic wrap on top of the dough. Holding onto the dough and the plastic wrap at the same time, flip the dough over. Peel away the plastic wrap and dust this side with sugar. And keep rolling. 15 by 10. This looks good. Now we're going to take our two tablespoons of melted butter and just pour it right in the middle and using an offset spatula, just spread it around to completely coat the puff pastry, even over to the corners and around the edges. And then we're gonna sprinkle our orange sugar mixture evenly over the entire piece of pastry. And once again, using the offset spatula, just spread it into a nice layer. Okay, that looks good. Turn your cutting board so the long side of the pastry dough is facing towards you. And using your ruler, I'm going to cut straight down into the dough to divide. You don't want to drag your knife across the dough because this is puff pastry and it's made of hundreds of layers. And if you drag the knife, it'll, it tends to pinch the layers together. One last cut through, make sure we've cut through the plastic. And then working with one of the rectangles at a time, you're going to start at one short side. And using the plastic wrap as a guide, just going to fold over just the beginnings of this dough. Just going to start this rolling process with our fingers. And then we're going to use the plastic wrap by just pulling it towards the center of the dough. And spin your rectangle around and do the same thing with the other side. Again, starting by folding that first little edge over, not pinching it together, but just folding. And then once you've got it going, you're gonna roll it up until it meets the other scroll. And then using your fingers, you're just gonna pinch the two rolls together. Wrap it in the plastic and turn it pinched side down. And now we'll do the exact same rolling technique on the other rectangle. Now wrap the rolls in plastic wrap and pop them into the refrigerator until they're nice and firm. It'll take about 45 minutes. Just before your rolls are finished chilling, heat the oven to 425 degrees. When the rolls are nice and chilled, unwrap them and set the rolls seam side down on a cutting board. Trim off the edges and then using a ruler, cut the rolls into half inch thick slices. And arrange them on a silicone mat lined baking sheet. You'll need one cookie sheet for each roll. Bake the cookies until they're golden brown. It'll take about 14 minutes. Now turn the cookies over so that they can brown on the other side. 
and return them to the oven for about another minute or so. They'll cook quickly, so keep an eye on them. Put the cookies on a rack to cool completely. Let's see if these are cool enough. Mm. They're crisp, and the flaky layers just shatter in your mouth. With that burst of bittersweet orange, they're perfect.